Captain Titus, the Orcs have massacred the Forge World's forces. And they have taken the planetary defense weapons. Clever of the downed Orcs. Keeps us off their backs while they loot the Titan war machine. Brace for evasive maneuvers. Pilot, report! Sound engine is dead, Sergeant. We are losing altitude. Get the ship to safety. We find another way down. Hi, Captain. This is your plan. We need to get to the surface to take out the gun battle. What do you want to go home already, Sergeant? Not before having a word or two with the Orcs. Is that wise, Captain? The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Try to keep up.
outpost. Are you wounded? The Codex Astartes warns against using jump packs to leap blindly into enemy fire, and for good reason. Your days as a novice are behind you. Why do you still interpret the Codex so narrowly? I look to its rules for guidance. We all do. But there are also benefits to thinking for yourself, Leopold. My lord. You have saved us. Rise, guardsmen. You saved yourselves. We thought you dead. We would be, my lord. If not for the lieutenant. Where will we find this lieutenant? At the front lines. Follow the trench network to the lieutenant's command bunker. Carry on, guardsmen. We rendezvous with Sedonus, then we find this lieutenant. We need updated intel on the gun battery. Sergeant, I see you found something to keep you busy. Worry not, Captain. I've saved some orcs for you. The orcs have got that gun well defended, no mistake. But typical orc behavior would be to dismantle or destroy the gun. And certainly not use it to keep our forces at bay. There's a strategy behind it. Their leader is no fool. This day is getting interesting. Second Lieutenant Mira, 203rd Cadian Regiment. Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. You are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. Unless my commanders rise from the grave. So far, they seem content to stay put. Lieutenant, the scouts have returned to forward base. How many? Two. Damn. I sent out ten. That damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault. And as you might have seen, it's shooting down all our support vessels. That is why we are here. Leave the gun to us. Come with me, then. I should warn you, my lords. We've got a slight orc problem down here. That's where the orcs breach the gun battery. We haven't been able to make it inside the wall. There just aren't enough of us. You have survived this long on your own, Lieutenant. You have done well. But you are no longer alone. We will retake the gun. You will get your reinforcements. I'll hold you to that, Captain. What is that servo skull doing? Trying to deliver a message. Must be damaged. The seal of the Inquisition. Interesting. What is the Inquisition doing here? We're about to find out. This is Inquisitor Drogon. I need urgent assistance at Manufactor and Bajakis. They're after the experimental device. 
device is safe for the time being. I've drawn them off. But now I'm trapped. If I die, you must keep the device out of enemy hands. Or he'll be unstoppable. I needed more time. Experimental weapon. We need to find the Inquisitor before the Orcs do. Inquisitor Drogon? I am Drogon. And you are. Captain Titus of the Ultramarines. We received your distress call. But you seem to have weathered the enemy's attack. I am soldier and scientist, both, Captain. What is the status of the experimental device? The power source is running the entire manufactorum from the generator room. This device is a fuel source, not a weapon? It is a complex device and an unstable one. If the orcs find it, they'll try and take it apart. It could detonate with enough force to destroy the entire planet. Then we must move it to safety. And for that, Captain, I need your aid. This way. Space Marine! You try to steal my Titans? Steal my loot? I'll rip your guts right out of your throat! more of them. Our plan is unchanged. Get the Inquisitor and the power source off-world. Inquisitor Drogon, we need to get you off-planet before we're overrun by orcs. Exposed to the unshielded power source in the generator room. I saw it. You held raw energy from the warp. How are you still alive? The power source conducts warp energies. The stuff of chaos. Heresy. My work against the Xenos has the Imperium's blessing. Can your blessed work help us against the Orcs? My research is of the utmost secrecy. The Imperium forbids its use without sanction. Consider that your Imperial sanction. Very well. The power source fuels an experimental weapon at my research facility. The Psychic Scourge. It could destroy the Orcs. You didn't think to bring up this Scourge weapon before. The Psychic Scourge has never been test-fired, Sergeant. If it malfunctions, it could crack this planet in half. We're out of options. We fire the weapon, 
and take our chances. Inquisitor, your wound is slowing us down. I can manage. Brothers, take him to the Valkyries. I will draw the orcs off and meet you there. Give the power source to the sergeant then, Captain. No, Drog. The orc chieftain wanted the power source. When his orcs see I possess it, not you, they will follow me. Move out. Pilots, this is Lieutenant Mira aboard Valkyrie 1. Look sharp, orc flyers inbound. Captain Titus, I need a gunner to man the heavy bolter. Why didn't it work? Damn that Drogon! Never trust the Inquisition! Stand fast, Ultramarines. We can handle a few orcs. Space Marine! Was that supposed to hurt? How is this possible? Ah! Aha! You got new friends now, Spike Marine! Servant did all that I hoped and more. But he would never have succeeded without you, Captain Titus. Thanks to these brave space marines, we have broken through to this reality. The blessed gateway. You seem surprisingly able to resist my touch, Titus of the Ultramarines, and that of the War. 
which impressed my servant to no end. Ah, you think the Inquisitor a traitor. But Drogon has been dead since before you first met. You have been used by my puppet of flesh and bone. the kill. Astartes warns that those in league with Chaos can withstand the warp's touch. You forget yourself, Ultramarine. Leandros, I do not take this warp resistance lightly. But the search for answers must wait until after we deal with this Chaos invasion. What if that is too late? Leandros, enough. We need to keep moving. Orbital Spire. Target acquired. Firing now. Get this damn thing secured, Sergeant. As quickly as I can. Sidonus, get to the landing pad. Aye, Captain.
Nimerov killed Sedonus for the power source. You said the Inquisitor's work was heretical, Leandros. You were right. What do you mean? Nemiroth plans to use the power source to trigger his transformation into a demon prince. Abomination! How can we stand against such a creature? I will kill Nemiroth when he's most vulnerable. During the transformation. Safeguard Sidonus until the Apothecary arrives. Then join the Imperial attack. Going alone is suicide. Or worse. We know the enemy takes great interest in your connection to Chaos. Do you fear my falling to Chaos? Of course not. Whatever lies behind your resistance, it can only be to the enemy's favor. Why? Perhaps this resistance can get you close enough for a killing blow. I will destroy Nemroth with skill and steel, or die trying. If this resistance comes into play during battle, so be it. So be it. Talk to your guards. I will send you to them. Admitted, Titus. The power of chaos is within you. Calling to this relic. Imagine the Ultramarines dominating this galaxy in glorious conquest, with you at their head. Imagine the power. As a slave to chaos, nothing you say can tempt me from the path of honor, or from avenging the deaths of my battle brothers. Killing my servants matters little. I am unassailable. The gods of chaos protect me with the very energies of creation. You forget, Nemeroth. I am no stranger to the touch of the warp. I see the Ultramarines are human, after all. More than you know, Lieutenant.
Grand Inquisition is here. His injuries appear chaos inflicted. You are certain of this charge? Captain Titus has been corrupted by Chaos Inquisitor Thrax. I am no heretic! You lie! Only an agent of Chaos could withstand such warp exposure. I sent the demon to oblivion. But did you have unholy assistance? We must know. You will submit to my authority, Captain. Or the Inquisition must conclude that you have corrupted every Ultramarine under your command, not to mention those who stand at your side. Ignore his threats. Come on. The Inquisition will destroy you, Mira, and the Ultramarines will be forever dishonored. Leave my brothers and the Lieutenant alone. I will come with you. I do not know why I can resist the touch of chaos, but I swear I will discover the truth. We will discover many truths, Space Marine. Codex Astartes leaves no room for doubt. You cannot touch the warp and emerge unscathed. The Codex Astartes is a set of rules. They guide us. Shape us as Ultramarines. Teach us to hold duty and honor, sacred above all. But how we live with those rules is the true test of a Space Marine. And you... have failed. soldiers in their service. The Indominus Crusade meets with triumph after triumph. Day by day we tear Imperium Nihilus from the Despoiler's grip, and though we are beset on all sides, with each battle we drive back the mutant, the heretic, the alien. <laughs> As I speak these words, our forces engage the remnants of Leviathan.
Reclaiming lost worlds. Atoning for old shames. A crusade to cleanse the stars. Taking the fight to the enemy. the Tyranids at Baal. We broke their high fleet. Soon, their foulness will be but a memory. That is what the preachers say.
We are the defenders of mankind against the horrors that dwell in the darkness. While we draw breath, we stand. While we stand, we fight. We are the angels of death. We are the blade drawn against the endless night. Nothing will survive our wrath.